quiet on the set. Roll tape. Bring up audio. Cue talent. In five, four, three, two, one. Hello, everyone. It's time to sit back and enjoy your weekly Tiger Paws. I am Nicholas Finch. And I'm Hannah Riley. It's homecoming week on the UWA campus, and we will preview the events you won't want to miss. But first... The late Richard R. Thurn will be honored with a rock garden dedication in his honor in UWA's Black Belt Garden. Thurn was a professor of physical sciences at UWA for more than 20 years. Edie is in the Black Belt Garden with more on the story. Robbie Limerick and brothers of the Ta Kappa Epsilon chapter have been in progress and working on the rock garden in memory of Mr. Richard Thurn. I'd like to welcome you. Uh, to the Richard Thurn Memorial Rock Garden. I'm Robbie Lemery. Uh, I had the idea of uh, producing this rock garden in memory of uh, late Professor uh, Richard Thurn, who was an emeritus professor of physical sciences here at the University of West Alabama from 1980 until 2002. Uh, upon his passing, I wanted to do something to remember him by, so I came up with an idea of a rock garden that would be added to uh, this uh, Black Belt Gardens so that visitors and friends could come and reminisce of Mr. Thurn. And the revealing of the memorial will be held on October 8th at 3 p.m. here at the Black Belt Garden. The Richard Thurn Rock Garden is not a finished project. Mr. Robbie Limerick is encouraging students, faculty, alumni, friends, and family to donate specimens or fossils or rocks that they would like to have placed in the rock garden. To find out more information on the Rock Garden or how to donate anything that you would like to be placed in the Rock Garden, please feel free to contact Mr. Robbie Lurick at the email address listed below. Now, back to our anchors. The Mu Eta chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority is selling raffle tickets with a chance to win an 8 gigabyte iPod Nano. The tickets cost $1 each or 6 for $5. For more information, contact Whitney Frost at FrostW at uwa.edu. BBY Publications hosted its first campus workshop on Friday for elementary school teachers around the area. For more information, we will turn to Carolyn Mancuso, who was on the scene. Inside the Student Union Building, BBY Publications at UWA is hosting its first workshop on campus ever. BBY provides math supplemental materials as well as math professional development to elementary school teachers. The nine teachers that attended today's workshop come from elementary schools throughout Alabama and Mississippi, including our very own Sumter Academy. BBY reaches out to elementary school teachers in order to help them grow professionally in the area of math. Today's workshop is on place value. I'm Carolyn Mancuso for Studio 96. Memorial services were held for Lauren George Cunningham last week. Cunningham helped fund several key projects on campus, including the building of the Bell Conference Center, which was named after his wife's parents. Cunningham and his wife, Sarah, also supported UWA with the annual Lorraine, excuse me, Lorraine McIlwain Bell Trustee Awards, which was peer elected. The best time in preschool, other than nap time of course, was reading time. To encourage reading among children, the UWA campus school held a book fair last week with a large selection of books and other goods. Each day a special guest reader visited the school to read to the kids. The campus school is home to young children from the ages of two and a half up through kindergarten. Here are your homecoming events this week. On Monday morning, the first clue to the key to victory was emailed at 10. Also, a Nintendo Wii bowling tournament will be held in the sub-conference room. Steve Gapson will arrive on campus Tuesday to create free caricature portraits. The Serendipity Talent Show will start at 7 p.m. on Wednesday night, where the Homecoming Queen will also be announced. Thursday's activities will include a bonfire and a fireworks show, and a band party featuring Flyby Radio. The homecoming parade will start at 10 a.m. on Saturday, followed by the Tiger Walk at 1.45. A pep rally at 4 p.m. and kickoff against Southern Arkansas is scheduled for 5 p.m. 
So rest up, Tigers. It is going to be a busy week. For more information about how you should dress at all of the homecoming festivities, return to Paulina for the campus forecast. It's going to be a beautiful week for homecoming. You can expect sunny skies nearly every day in lovely temperatures. On Tuesday evening, we will drop to a low in the high 40s, but we will warm up into the 80s every other day this week. The temperatures will be comfortable for the bonfire and band party on Thursday, and the high will get up to 84 on Friday. Enjoy the beautiful weather. Now back to our anchors. In other news, last week's newscast was canceled due to a power outage in Wallace Hall. We had prepared to inform you about why the number of international students on campus had quadrupled in one year. Now we'll hear more on that story. From 17 students in the fall of 2010 to 76 students in the fall of 2011, the international program is growing and making a huge impact on UWA's campus. Out of the 76 international students on campus currently, 44 are Chinese. I like the people here. I like talking with them, uh, share different experiences, different stories. That is pretty cool. Like many other universities, UWA has joined with Chinese universities to promote the dual degree program, the 2 plus 2 program for the Chinese students. And I think the classes is very interesting. And I learned many new knowledge here. The Chinese students will spend two years in China working on a degree and then spend two years in America working on a second degree. They will take classes that will easily transfer when they return home. Along with their busy schedules and tutoring sessions, the Chinese students also take part in an acculturation class every Thursday night. This class is open to the students to ask questions about American culture. It is also a way for the students to express their opinions on how to make it an easier transition for future Chinese and other international students that come to UWA. When I was a child, my parents always teach me, when somebody do something good for you, you must remember it and uh, do some good thing for them. If you'd like to know more about the international program or become a mentor to an international student, feel free to contact Craig Warlick by email at c warlick at uwa.edu now back to our anchors it's time to get back to work that does it for your tiger paws we will see you next week for another round of riveting campus news have a great week everybody